What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be installing our B&W gooseneck hitch. So here's the hitch. Um, this is for my 2004 Duramax. It's the turnover ball. Um, so we got our bars that go across the frame here. Uh, this is where the hitch sits into, or the, the ball sits into. And then our side plates um, that mount to the frame. Uh, everything's a little dirty right now because I had it sitting outside and it rained. So that's kind of a mess. But then we got our bolts here for everything. And um, these are our safety chain hooks right here. So we're going to be installing this with the bed off because um, I had the bed off to paint the frame and... Do a bunch of other work. Um, usually you would be doing this with the bed on, but um, hopefully this helps you guys see it a little better on how to install it. All right, so the hitch comes with instructions on it, um, explaining what you need to do. It's really easy. Um, it's just kind of hard to get some bolts in when you're laying under the truck. Uh, so your first step is you're gonna remove your spare tire and the heat shields on the bottom of the bed, uh, you have to get rid of those. Um, that's pretty easy. You can either just cut a section out or just completely unbolt them. And then you're gonna drop the exhaust down some. So you got some more room uh, when you're under here to lift up this piece into place. Um, so that's also pretty easy as well. After you get all that done um, on the bed, you can um, cut your hole for the hitch. So this is a four inch hole that you're going to have to cut with a hole saw or you can use a saber saw. Um, they provide you with your measurements, but what you're going to do is uh, measure from the back of the bed here up to whatever your bed length is. Um, and then find the center of the bed between the wheel wells. So to get these bars in, if you got the bed on, um, you gotta cut a notch out so you can slide them in there. Um, so right here it's showing you exactly where to make your cut. So this is showing on the passenger side and you just, part of the bed's right here and you'd cut your V out right there. Um, so then you could easily slide everything in. So the first piece um, when you go for the install is you're going to be putting this piece of angle in. Um, as you can see, this goes in front and the, the angle is facing that way with the bolt holes facing towards the back of the truck. So sitting like this. So once you would uh, have your V cut out here and you slide in your bars, um, you can position them to where they need to be with the frame plates. All right, so we're gonna be installing this next once you get your crossbars in here. Um, you're gonna be using these bolts right here, these gold ones. Um, so they're gonna come through like this, um, come through that way towards the inside of the hitch part. Um, so once you get that through, you're gonna go washer, lock washer, and then your nut. Um, well after that, once we get this mounted in place, uh, then we can put our side plates on. All right, so we're gonna get this put in here. Um, if you're doing this with the truck bed on, uh, you can take a chain through the hole you cut in the bed and you can use something to hoist this up um, so you don't have to be under the truck holding this up, trying to put bolts in it makes it a heck of a lot easier. Um, but the way we're doing it, uh, you can easily get, get it done without something hoisting it up. To make it easier on ourselves, I'm just gonna set it up like this, bolt everything together um, so I don't have to hold this up. 
Uh, so we're gonna get the bolts in here, then the bolts in on, put this on there, and then bolt it all up. Uh, but we're not gonna tighten anything until we get the side plates on. All right, so um, you're gonna come in with these bolts here. Um, when you're sliding this, putting this um, up into here, they give you an O-ring to keep this bolt in place in one of these holes. Um, so you have something to hook onto as you're putting it in. Um, but obviously we don't need that. So we're gonna be getting this installed here. Um, so you're gonna take these bolts right here, um, three quarter inch head. Uh, you're gonna go lock washer and then your regular washer. Um, this bar is threaded, so you don't need a nut for it. So you're gonna come in from this side and the inside here and um, get them threaded in and then tighten them down um, once you get this other bar on and the side plates on. All right, so we're gonna get these uh, bolts tightened up here. Um, electric ratchet works great to do that. Um, or you can just use a regular ratchet. Um, so yeah. Uh, we're not going to tighten them up all the way right now. Um, just loosely tight. Uh, because we want to make sure um, everything lines up so we don't need it tight right now. It's a little noisy right now. I'm sorry. Um, we got a metal roof, so the rain makes it kind of loud. Uh, for this bolt right here, it's a little tricky. You can't really get a ratchet on it. Um, you use a regular wrench or you can get a uh, three quarter inch ratcheting wrench. It'll make this job a lot easier getting this bolt in. Um, but yeah, the wrench works just fine. So we're gonna get this um, bolted up onto here. Um, it's gonna sit. It's gonna sit just like that. Um, then obviously you line up your holes and uh, put your bolts in there. Um, these aren't slotted like the other holes down here. Uh, all right, for this, uh, you're just gonna come in this way with your bolt and then come in with your regular washer, lock washer, and your nut. So coming up like this. So your lock washer will be resting against the nut like that. Uh, it's pretty easy, so we're gonna do that right now. All right, so now we're gonna assemble our side plates here um, but first so we don't forget about it. Um, they give you this piece right here. Um, just slides right in this hole right here um, to make it so it's not slotted. So you have a circular hole for your bolt. So you got square holes back here for the bolt come through and then um, put this over once you get your bolts through there and then put your on your nut and uh, the washers and uh, the lock washers. We really don't want to tighten up anything quite yet. Um, you know, I just want to make sure we get, have everything aligned correctly. Um, so what we're going to do is take this loosely bolt it on there um, and then assemble the other side, the other side plate, for the driver's side, put that on there. Um, and then we'll put our bolts in the slotted hole here. All right, now you got your side plates bolted up. Um, the next step would be putting in these U-bolts that wrap around the frame. Uh, just like this. Um, and they go in these holes and then obviously washer, lock washer, nut. And then we're going to put in the bolts that go right here.
Um, before we even tighten a single thing down, uh, we're gonna get the bed put on here, uh, cut, have the hole cut in it. So then we can make sure we're aligned on everything and um, we don't have any issues. All right, so I got the bed pulled over here. Um, we get the hole drilled in it. Uh, but this is the heat shield right here that I'm talking about um, that you want to get rid of because it's in the way of the hitch. So uh, we're just going to cut this out with the angle grinder. But if you want to actually take it out, they're T15. Um, but usually they're rusted in there and they're really hard to get out. So uh, we're just going to cut it out. All right, so we're going to get the hole cut here. Um, you need a four inch hole saw and a drill. This is the best way to do it to get the most circular hole. Um, but in the instructions it says to measure 44 and a quarter from the back of the bed here. Um, if you got bed liner, you're gonna have to accommodate for that. Uh, add a little bit to your measurement because this sticks you out farther this way. Um, but since we also have bed liner, uh, we're gonna use some uh, tape here, put it down to where approximately where the hole is going to be. Uh, this will help us mark our uh, spot where we're going to drill the hole. All right, so we got um, our hole marked here, um, 44 and a quarter up. And then this was 50 between here, uh, so 25. And uh, that looks pretty dead on center. Um, so we're going to drill the hole here uh, with our hole saw and uh, it should go pretty smoothly. All right, so we got our hole drilled here. Um, came out really good. Uh, that's what's good about the hole saw is you can get it perfect circle. Um, so we're gonna get the bed thrown on here and then um, you can get everything bolted up here, uh, tightened down, torqued. Um, so yeah. Uh, so we got the bed thrown on here. Um, it was a little bit of a pain to get this on and get the hole lined up uh, just because you got to move the bed over the hole and it's just kind of difficult. So, um, but yeah, the hole lined up perfectly. So just make sure you get your measurements right um, and your hole is going to be perfect, nice and tight around the hitch. Um, so now that we got this on here, um, we know everything's where it needs to be. We can start tightening up all the bolts. All right, so the next step, um, you just wanna verify that this is even on each side so you can measure off of here to here um, and verify that it is even side to side, it's not tilted one way or the other. Um, and then you're gonna go under here and um, Tighten up all the bolts and torque them down up there. Um, if you don't have a torque wrench, um, I highly recommend getting one um, because stuff like this, like a hitch, um, you wanna make sure that's torqued down properly because you're gonna be hauling heavy loads with that and um, you don't want anything bad to happen. So um, you definitely wanna torque it down. All right, uh, so we got the bolts for the cross member all tightened down to 80 foot pounds. Um, next, again, just make sure that this is square on the frame and then you're gonna tighten this bolt down to 120 foot pounds. All right, so once you got these bolts uh, torqued down, you're gonna do these uh, side U-bolts um, to a maximum of 40 foot pounds. Uh, alternate between each side to keep it even um, and this plate might bend in some but that's normal um, so don't worry about that uh, so i'm gonna have to do that right now all right so once you got those u-bolts uh torqued down um you're gonna do your three carriage bolts here uh those are gonna go to 60 foot pounds and then you got these bolts up here on each side. Uh, those are gonna go to 80 foot pounds, just like the inside. All right, so the next step is to put your handle in um, to pull the pin for the gooseneck. Um, 
So you're gonna come up from under here, then slide it in through the hole, and it'll come out, and then uh, you'll bolt it up. All right, so we got our uh, handle installed here. And um, it works good. Uh, just make sure that you have the eyelet on this side of the pin uh, so you're, it's installed correctly. Um, if it's on the other side, it's not going to work correctly. So the next step is installing our safety chain U-bolts. Um, this is very simple to do. Uh, there is holes about right here on each side of the hitch um, from the underside so you're going to drill up and then um, with a half inch drill bit and uh, you'll have all your holes all right so we got the holes drilled um, it's pretty easy uh, the next step is just to drop your u-bolts through here um, then you're going to go from the underside um, install the springs and uh, tighten the nuts until there's a quarter inch of thread showing, and then that will be the right tension for these springs. Um, then you got everything done. All right, so just verify that uh, these come up nice and easily and uh, suck right back down. Um, that's what's good about the BMW Gooseneck Hitch is it does not really affect you putting anything in the bed because it's all nice and flush. Um, so we're gonna, I'm gonna show you guys the hideaway ball feature here in a second. So all you gotta do is come down here, pull your latch and climb up into the bed. And then you wanna put your ball in and it's simple as that. And then you release the latch and um, it goes all the way through and then you can haul whatever you want with it and then when you're not hauling and you want um, access to your bed um, without a ball in the way put that in all the way down and then um, it's hidden away and uh, out of sight so that's what's great about this hitch is it's hide away and uh, you don't got to deal with a ball being in your way all the time all right well that's it for this video um this hitch is just amazing the quality it's made in the usa um i just want to thank bnw for sending me out this hitch for the build uh this is the tow rig for the show truck um so this definitely helps uh with towing so thank you bnw and uh, i'll leave links in the description to this hitch and to their website um, they got gooseneck hitches and they got regular hitches just like for your trailer hitch down here. Um, so I'll leave a link to all that. Uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.